Welcome back everybody to my everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. After a week of Imperial Garden, I thought I'd ramp it up, play Pine Hills. So there's a tournament, regular tees, mega cups, normal wind. I've got eight under on this before now. Don't know how I manage that. Uh, <laughs> so we'll give it a go. And we got the big clubs out. Yeah, so how I got to eight under is beyond me. We'll just play the three wood here. Play the one wood, you get into too much trouble running out on the um, on the edge of the fairway. It does leave you a bit of a beast of a second shot though. So you've got 175 to go, but it's 17 yards uphill. So you've really got to lash it up there. Great shot. Yeah, I didn't give it enough again. I need to figure out, I need to do a driving range thing, just figure out all my carries. Make a cup so you can get some chip-ins at least. A good start, start with the birdie. Always gotta love that. Oh, so in theory, we've got nine under, um, eleven under. Sorry, we've got two eagles on here. It's a two. Ideally, you want to hit this round the corner. What's that line? You kind of want to play it there, but with a bit of bend on it. Oh, and you missed it. With a bit of luck, I'll hit a tree and it will be short. Still in bounds, though. Go, on, go, on, go! On. Oh, look at that! Look at that luck. R in Jesus loves me. I definitely thought I was going to be out of bounds and in a lot of trouble there. I mean, I'm still in a lot of trouble if I'm honest. And maybe the six iron. Try and play it to there. I mean, it is a par five. Yeah, I was always going to catch a bit of tree even on top spin. Luckily, we're on their way at least. We'll get a chip into the green. It's in wedge range. See what we can do. And we've got the ultra back spin. We put it in the ballpark. Ooh. It's going to come back anyway because of the slow. That's not bad, it gives me a pop. So no chance of the eagle, but at least we get a chance at the birdie. Give me a pop. It's a two under. Nice recovery after that um unfortunate t-shirt. is a par three. Twelve's always a nasty one. Got the ultra max spin. Oh good shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Uh, I might come back too far. So I'm gonna be putting across the grain. But it's a birdie pop. Looks like it slopes up. Breaking to the right. Look at that round the corner. <laughs> Three birdies in a row. Oh, you're good. It's a 13. Again, backspin's the trick here. A, it gives you more height. And B, you're downwind, so the more height you get, the more power you get. Oh, sorry, the more distance you get. It does change power, obviously. So 331, 45 left. What a reasonable angle up there as well. Again, always hard to know how much more to put on it for the slow. That's in the ballpark. All right, we're just a little bit off. But we've got a chip at it. Oh, 
so good we played it twice. So that's the first birdie we've missed. We did have a chance at it. So we're three under. So 14. Again, if you can get it round the corner. Wind's going to help me as well. Might have enough, might have enough, might have enough water. Lucky bones. Yeah, got the skip but ran out in the end. But look how close we are, 22 yards. You're pretty much trying to drive the green. There's no way that's going to go in. Oh, it was close. Super close. Could have got the, could have got the eagle there. That tee shot was something else though. Four and up. So 15's the par three. This can be you know, pins all right. It's a par three. Sometimes they put the pin somewhere you can't get it because the ball naturally goes right to left. If the pin's up on the right, you can have a hold up there for it. Because of where it is, I can kind of pitch it here. Bravo. Got the ultra backspin. Ooh. Wherever I put it, it's going right. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Four and a half up. Here she goes. Five under. I love that's the way. It's a 16. And again, you can kind of fling this over the top. Your real worry is running out to the left into that out of bounds. Most trees don't help you really. Nah. Let me hit one of them. And we're in the sand. So we're going to hit out the sand downhill. All we can do, throw the club at it, see what happens. Got quite a lot of that one. Pitch on won't stay though. Probably run off. Yeah. Bit more sand, don't I? Rough. So we've got to chip back. The par is going to be tricky from here. Oh, neat shot! Oh, we had a good go though. Focus. So that's another par. But again, you've got to throw it at the green. And once I found the sand on the tee shot, it was going to be a struggle. So 17. We're downwind. We've got loads of power shots. Go on then. Bravo. A little bit of backspin. So we're in wedge range, 85 yards. That's pretty good. Roll with it. Go for the birdie. Come on. Still a tricky missable putt though. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> Six under going down the 18th. I think we'll be up wind for the 18th. No, we're down wind. Now we could hit an absolute monster here. In fact, let's set up over here. Go! Oh, neat shot! Over the top of that tree. Now we need a bounce. We need a bounce. 
Oh, not to hit that. That didn't help. It's only 417 in the end. Get a shot into the green, though. It'll pitch right when it lands. Great shot! I'm hoping it'll hit that little bank and kill it. There you go, look at that. Oh no, that might go underwater. Too much backspin. That bank bounced it a lot. Oh, Alright though. So, got a chance at the eagle with a chip. In she goes. That's a good finish. So eight under, equal to score. Look at that. And there's more come there. You know, we missed a couple. I'll definitely have to come back and play that setup again. We obviously won the tournament. Let's have a look at the stats. We definitely missed some fairways because there was... In fact, I think we missed two. And we definitely missed some greens. 417 for the drive. Yeah, we missed quite a few fairways. Missed a third of our greens. Oh, dear me. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Oh, I've got some gems. It's always good. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. I like to reply to those. And I'll see you next time for a bit more of Everybody's Golf.